My name is Austin John Caparos and I thought it would be a great idea to interview you. I would like to ask you some questions about your lead leadership style, kinds of motivation you're currently utilizing in your team, and importance of communication in leading employees. I hope to use this information to the benefit of us and the whole class in our organization and management subject as a guide to our future and to inspire. The interview should take about 10 minutes. Are you available to respond to some questions at this time? Yes. Let me begin by asking you some questions about the kind of leadership style you utilize. As a manager, what is your leadership style? There are six types of management style, pero ako bilang uh, base sa mga experience ko bilang uh, operations manager way back 2004 in People Star Steam Laundry. Ang ginagamit ko dun na na management style or effective na leadership is yung coaching. How is it effective in your team? Effective siya kasi mas maganda yung parang nagkakaroon kayo ng uh, mga discussion bawat isa. Let's say, uh, etong isang supervisor is merong uh, meron siyang gustong i-discuss na panibagong um, tawag dito uh, strategy or yung sarili niyang opinion or idea na isi-share niya sa akin, na, na isi-share niya sa pangkahalatan. Do you think that coaching management style brings more benefits than autocratic, democratic, and laissez fair? Why? Depende kasi sa company. Depende sa nature ng business. It depends. Uh, ako nasabi kong coaching management style kasi yung yung nature of business namin is services. Yung sa sinasabi na autocratic yes. management style kasi, ito kasi yung medyo heavy, da, kailangan tough. Pagka nag-decision ka, ibig sabihin, pagka nag-decide ang isang leadership, ito sa autocratic, kailangan tough. Kailangan nyo ng masunod. Kailangan nyo ng sunodin. Medyo old-fashioned yung style niya, pero yung sa iba, medyo effective din naman. Kaya lang, depende talaga sa nature din ng business or ng company. Do employees' productivity and efficiency increase when there is a leader who guide and inspire? Yes, of course. Dapat talaga. Hindi nga lang sa mga businesses nangyayari eh. Kailangan talaga merong, ano, merong leadership. Why do you think so? Every company or all company want to improve employee uh, productivity. Okay. Okay, let's move on to kinds of motivation currently using. What type of motivation do you use to manage your team? When it comes to motivation, meron naman ding dalawang types ng motivation. Yung isa yung intrinsic at saka yung isa extrinsic. Kumbaga, parang inner yung isa naman um, outside. Pero ang pinakamaganda doon is yung intrinsic motivation. Please tell me about intrinsic motivation. Intrinsic motivation, siya yung parang internal uh, rewards. Kumbaga, uh, namomotivate mo yung isang tao dahil sa gusto niya. Okay. Dahil sa gusto niyang gawin. Yun yung kagandahan sa intrinsic. Tsaka yun yung talagang the best. Okay. Is it... Kasi pagka, pagka gusto mong gawin, mas mainam, nagiging successful yung kung ano yung, yung gusto mong gawin. Okay. Yun naman yung kaibahan ng extrinsic. Kaya mo lang gustong gawin dahil sa merong reward, meron kang makukuhang kapalit, kaya mo lang siya gustong gawin. Kumbaga, parang napipilitan ka lang na gawin. Is it always effective? Yes, of course. Siyempre, ano siya, mas effective siya kasi kumbaga kung halimbawa ako, namamotivate ako na gawin itong isang bagay dahil sa gusto ko. 
Tsaka happy ako. How can you measure the effectiveness of motivation to your team? Base sa mga nakikita ko, base doon sa, uh, let's say, meron kaming isang PO na kailangan matapos uh, within this week. Nakikita ko naman yung motivation nila kasi matatapos naman yung isang PO na kahit hindi ko sila monitor. Let's proceed to our next topic which is importance of communication in leading employees. Why do leaders need to be effective communicator? Kailangan ng isang company, ang isang leader, effective communicator, kasi nasa kanila nakasalalay ang ikakaunlad ng isang kumpanya. As a manager, how significant is communication in your team? Um, Napaka-importante ano, ng communication. Kasi inadequate communication is also a factor in many accident and safety incidents. Poor communication is one of the largest areas of self-handicapping in business organization. Kung, kung talagang magkakaroon ka ng poor communication, magkakaroon ka din ng problema sa business organization. How do you encourage your team to express opinions and concerns? Through meetings, lagi like kong pinapaliwanag sa kanila pagka mayroong problema, sabihin kung ano yung ko pwedeng maitulong ng company, i-suggest. Please tell me a time when you've solved, solved a conflict through communication. Um, meron akong isang example sa office, uh, humingi ng tulong, nakipag-set siya ng uh, meeting. Sinabi niya yung personal niya na problema dahil kasi nagkaroon siya ng emergency sa bahay niya. So, doon sa bagay na yun, natulungan naman namin siya through financial uh, support. Well, I should have all the information I need. It has been a pleasure to experience an interview with you and I very much appreciate the time you took for this interview. Thank you so much.